So this is part three of the QLab audio tutorial. I found some little tidbits and details that might be a lot more helpful when trying to do effects, devamping, and some built-in fade stuff. So I'm going to quickly show you those new additions that uh, I did not include before. So I'm just going to grab a uh, audio file. The one I'm going to just use is in the Apple Loop section called Broadcast News. I'm just going to drag and drop it in here, get it started, and just have a quick listen. So it's sort of an intro to a broadcast news program. If we click on the file and we go down to uh, Time and Loops, you can see this is the waveform of the file. Um, you can adjust the play count here as needed or set it to infinite loop. What we're going to do is we're just going to take a section of it and uh, we're just going to adjust uh, the levels in there ourselves. So if you click on this button here, it lets you customize the levels that you have in here. So if we click a, click a, a button, make a little marker, and we'll put four in here. And then you can just sort of drag these down and uh, adjust the levels um, you know, of the file in the, in the middle there. So now if we were to just play this, it starts normally, and then it gets quiet in the middle, and it'll kick back in again. And so that is super useful if you just want to make a quick adjustment, fade something in that doesn't have a fade in it, or fade something out for some audio. Um, now this is active only when this is checked. So if you uncheck this, it'll just play as it normally does. If it's checked, it'll be enabled, and uh, that, that's what will happen when you trigger it. You can delete these markers if you want to adjust them by just clicking on them, hit delete, and uh, you know, move them around as you see fit. And uh, So you don't need to get rid of them all. If you just aren't going to use it, you can just click to eliminate there. That's the first part. Now, if we want to do a little loop in the center here, say we had something in the show we didn't know when it would end or how long it was going to last, and we had just something, we wanted something to loop, but we have just a single audio file. So that's a cool thing about um, what we're going to do now with slicing. So the section we're going to use is somewhere like in this section from like here, kind of to, to about here. Um, you can zoom in and out using these buttons here to really select uh, a lot more you know, detail to get it perfect when you're really going to do it for real. So we've selected this area. We're going to, ha we're going to hit Add Slices, which is going to chop this into three slices, the first one, the second one, and the third one on either side of this yellow area here. So slice. Now you'll notice each slice has a number one. That isn't what slice it is. It's how many times the slice is going to play. So by default, it's just going to play as it normally would. Play this once, play this once, play this once. What we want to do is loop this center section. So we're going to click on the one, and we can adjust it to play however many times we want. In this case, we want it to play forever because we just kind of want to you know, move on when we're ready. We don't know when exactly. So we're going to type in for, for infinite, you're going to put in INF, INF, which will change it to infinite, hit tab, and it'll uh, assign that. So now when we play it, it will play here, it'll move on, and it'll play this whole section and loop back in this section over and over again. So, you know, not perfect. There's a bunch of adjustments you could do to make it better. But uh, again, this is just a tutorial, so it doesn't really matter. So we got that happening. Now, when you want it to move on, you have to add a devamp cue. So this is a devamp, devamp cue. You click on that. You assign the target here. It's missing a target, first of all. So you just take the broadcast news one here, and you drag it into the uh, devamp cue to say that the devamp cue is targeting this cue here. And that's all you have to do. So when you're, when you're playing it, it's going to enter that loop like it normally would, and it's just going to keep looping until we trigger the B vamp cue here. So I'll let it loop once, and now I'm going to trigger the B vamp cue. It's going to let it move on. So hit that. This time, when it comes to the end of this, it's going to just keep going on and finish off itself. Beautiful. So now we're going to do a little effect. We're just going to add this uh, breakbeat short file and have a quick listen.
Okay, so pretty basic file. We're just going to put an effect on there. We'll click on it, pick audio effects. And for this little demonstration, we'll just pick, uh, let's check, pick pitch, because that'll really be easy to hear the difference. And we'll just crank it up a little bit so it'll be kind of ridiculous and silly. And there we go. It's enabled. And then we'll play it just to hear it. So a lot of times you're going to fade in and fade out an effect uh, without it just being, you know, so abrupt. So to do that, the cool and most powerful fade cue, that is your buddy, click on him, drag the, uh, set the target for it. You can just drag this down onto it. It's the easiest way to do it. So now this fade cue is targeting this cue here, but you got to pick parameters for what, what it is going to fade. So if you go down here to the um, fade cue itself and pick what you want to fade out. In this case, we're going to check the pitch effect that we added. Hit edit. And here we just basically take it back to nothing, which in this case is just going to be uh, straight up and down, I think. And I'll get close. There we go. And that should be zero. You could also just check uh, disable it, which would probably do the same exact effect as what we're trying to do here. So if you start playing it, Here's the effect. You hit this. And it switches back, it fades out that effect and switches back to what it normally would be doing. So that way you can fade in slowly for vocals or for any kind of audio files you have. You can fade in and out effects as needed and do your magic. So go for it.